Hey guys, welcome to Tech Toots, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the installation process of Windows Tiny 7 in VMware Workstation Pro. If you're new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos, and again hit the like button to show some support to the channel. Now before we begin, in case you are wondering what Windows Tiny 7 is, it is a miniaturized version of the Windows 7 Ultimate, developed by a company, Experienced. This is a copy of Windows 7 that has had so much stuff stripped out of it, you get a faster running machine because there are a whole lot less resources being used by the typical running software. Some things you install may not work because the software that it depends on will not be on the machine. The advantage of this though is that it can run smoothly on any PC, regardless of how slow or old the PC is. So with that being said, let's begin the installation process. So the first thing you're going to do is to fire up any browser of your choice and head over to this website, which I'll leave a link to in the description box. Once that is done and the page is loaded, scroll down to the Download Options tab and select the ISO Image option to begin the download Okay, so now that the ISO image file has been successfully downloaded, start up the VMware Workstation Pro so we can begin the installation process. So the next thing we're going to do is to create a new virtual machine. On this tab, you're going to select the typical option and click Next. Now on this tab, select this option, click on Browse and select the ISO image file that we just downloaded. Now click Next, and on this tab, select Microsoft Windows, and choose the Windows 7 64-bit option. Now click Next, and give the virtual machine a name of your choice. Okay, so right here, select the amount of disk space you want the virtual machine to have. Then click Next, and hit Finish. Now before I start up the virtual machine, I'm going to add more RAM and processing power to the virtual machine. This is not necessary because the OS is very lightweight and requires little resources, but I'm just going to do it because I'm recording at a high resolution and frame rate. Okay, now that is done, we can now fire up the virtual machine and allow the OS to be installed, and I'll get back to you once the installation process is completed.
Ok, now the installation is completed. On getting to the home screen, Windows activation should start and some applications will be installed. For this, I recommend that you have an active internet connection. Your computer will be restarted after this process is completed. Okay, so now we are done with the installation. Next I'm going to set the screen resolution in the control panel, so the OS fits my screen and is scaled properly. Now, normally I would just install VMware tools on the virtual machine, but this wouldn't work because VMware tools is only compatible with Windows 7 SP1 and upwards. Ok guys, so that will be all for this video. If you're new to the channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell, so you will get notified whenever I upload a new video. Again smash that like button, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask it in the comment section down below and I'll reply you. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.